Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, we're going to be talking about why I didn't sit the GAMSA. My name is Daniela. For those of you who don't recognize me, I am a third year graduate entry medical student at Warwick. And I'm also the head of admissions at FutureDoc and I'm getting involved in making some more of these videos so you might see me around more often. Okay, so before we jump into why I didn't sit the GAMSA, I guess I should give you guys some context first. I did an undergraduate degree in biomedical science and I graduated from that in 2018. I decided to apply to graduate entry medicine that year. So I sat the UCAT that year but it was a super rushed application. I only made the decision to apply maybe like May, June time. So it really didn't give me a lot of time to prepare for the UK exam or for my personal statement or to get work experience. So I was really unprepared. I decided to apply anyway and unsurprisingly got no interviews and no offers, which was really, really disheartening. I was so disappointed and I just ended up thinking okay medicine is just not for me i'm never going to be able to do it i ended up working full time for three years instead but if you guys want some more information more in depth or detail about my personal story into medicine then leave me some comments below and i can make a video about that so i was working full time for three years and the whole time i knew that just wasn't the right thing for me like it was a great job i was making some money but I don't know, deep down, I just felt I still really want to be a doctor. And by this time, I was maybe 24, 25, and I had already started thinking it's probably too late for me. I've probably like missed the boat. I'm never going to make it. But I knew that if I didn't reapply and give it my absolute best shot, I was going to regret it for the rest of my life. So then when I was making the decision of what to do in terms of the application, I based it mainly on my past experience. So because I had sat the UCAT once already, the year that I graduated from my undergrad, my initial sort of instinct was, I'm just gonna do the same thing. And this is something that quite a lot of students do. They think that if they have sat an exam in the past, so let's take the UCAT for example, if you've sat it in the past, most of the time students will think that that is just the exam that they are gonna retake. And they don't really pay a lot of attention or put a lot of research into other exams and other options that are available. And that was exactly what I did. I had this idea in my mind that I was gonna sit the UCAT exam and that was it. Something else that really influenced my decision was this idea that the GAMSAT was just gonna be ridiculously hard. I'd heard all of these stories about how long the exam was and how much science was involved in it. And personally, I just really didn't wanna get involved in that. I thought that because I'd sat the UCAT before and I had some experience with it and it wasn't too content heavy that I would just stick with that. I really didn't feel like I had the ability or the confidence to sit the GAMSA exam and to do well. And yes, it is a hard exam. It is a long exam and it is very different to the UCAT. But I had an undergrad degree in biomedical science and I had sat science A-levels in the past. And I know it had been quite a long time since I'd done that, but I think that if I had really applied myself if I had studied and given myself enough time to prepare for it, I would have done it and I would have done well. And also with the GAMSA exam, you can sit it twice in one year, so you can resit it, unlike the UCAT exam, which you can only take once. So if I had sat the exam in March, for example, and for whatever reason didn't go as well as I'd hoped that it was going to go, then I always had the opportunity or the ability to resit it again in September. So. I really should have done that. In hindsight, not sitting the GAMSAT exam was a mistake for me because if I had sat the GAMSAT, it would have opened up so many more opportunities to apply to many more medical schools. And that then would have increased my chances of actually getting in. I remember at the time, I just wanted to get into medical school. Like it didn't matter where in the country I was. I was just so keen on getting an offer. So if that's you, if you just want to get into medical school, if you have applied multiple times, then taking the GAMSAT will actually open up many more doors for other medical or dental schools. I guess it really does come down to your mindset and what you believe is possible and what you believe you are able to achieve. With the right guidance and the right preparation, it is definitely doable. It is definitely achievable. And it's something that we at FutureDoc see time and time again. Now that I am at a company that teach the GAMSAT and I 
can see the results that students get and how it opens doors for them, I know that I should have sat the GAMSAT as well myself. And if you guys would like to see how some of the future doc students get such high scores, then check out this playlist because we have loads of videos that you might be interested in. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you found this helpful and I'll see you next time.